Today, we're doing a device review on Dyneon from Audubon. Dyneon has been on the US market for a little over a year now, and it is one of Audubon's newer devices. It's really a new device and an updated device, both. Um, they took the 3R80 and, and kind of souped it up in a few ways and made things a little bit better. Um, I really love this knee, especially for a mechanical knee. I don't think that there's really a mechanical knee that walks quite as well as this does. Dyneon comes in a 6.3 inch build height and is 2.77 pounds. It is rated for up to 220 pounds. Dyneon has some cool advantages that set it apart from other mechanical knees and kind of make it a little bit more versatile than, than what you would see in that kind of category. Um, we're gonna go through all of those things and kind of show what this knee can do, and then we'll wrap it up at the end. Dyneon has manual controls that are right under this front cover. So to get that off, all we wanna do is take our wrench or something flat even, and we're just going to pop that off. And so now you can see that we've got our, our manual controls there. Okay, now we've got the face plate cover off. You see there's three dials. There are actually four dials, but we'll get to the fourth one in a minute. So these top three, this top one with the S next to it is our stance phase flexion resistance. And you can see the plus or minus. So as you go to the right and closer to that plus, that will increase your resistance. And if you go to the minus, that will decrease your stance resistance. So this is how strong, how much resistance you have in the knee when you are standing on it, when you're using it to go down um, stairs or when you're doing things like sitting and you're riding those hydraulics, this is that resistance. Next to the left here with the F is our swing phase flexion resistance. So that is when the knee is in its swing phase, how much resistance it has there. Um, and again, turning it to the left is, is decreasing, turning it to the right is increasing. And so this one and our, the one to the right of it, the, extex, the extension resistance, both kind of work hand in hand so that you don't end up swinging into the end stop and really having a slamming effect at the, at the end of your terminal or at the end of your swing. Um, and so it, these two are used to create that comfortable swing and really with a strong active user, you can get stance knee flexion with this knee as well using these two settings. And then down below, we've got our four mil, our big, our big um, adjustment here. So this is our switching threshold. So this is super important if, if it's especially patients or users that are having a tough time getting that knee to swing, you're gonna wanna mess with this switching threshold um, and turn it down so that it, it is, takes less weight to activate that toe off that terminal stance and get the knee to swing. Um, so again, turning it to our left here, we'll turn it down and then make it again, take less weight to, to get that knee to swing and turning it up will make it harder to get that knee to swing. You'll have to put more weight through the toe at that terminal stance point. Now here we'll show walking with full extension. So you see that knee has no flexion when I land, it's fully locked out and we'll go into slow-mo here so you can really see what that looks like as far as... Again, I'm getting that heel strike and I'm pushing so that knee doesn't bend at all at that heel strike. And then now we're going to switch to stance knee flexion. So you see I get just a little bit of that bend, which makes for a more comfortable dynamic knee. And the fact that this is a mechanical knee that, yeah, sometimes it's not the, the smoothest, but the fact that it can do it and you get that benefit for your back and hip is a big deal. Okay, now let's talk about some of the unique features that Dyneon has. So if we lift it up here, you see at the top here, you've got a lock icon and an unlock icon. So when you have the knee fully extended and weighted, you can click the, the lock button and that will lock the knee at full extension. And then to unlock that, you just release, you push the unlock button and then it releases back into a free swing. It has a little tactile click that you hear and you feel and so that lets you know that it's unlocked. Here we are doing a little bit of sitting. Again, this is your stance phase flexion resistance. So that first dial with the S next to it, that controls how fast you are going to have that resistance sitting down standing. But on Dyneon, you can ride it just like if it was a sea leg or any other MPK and use those hydraulics to support you sitting down. 
Next, we'll move over to the stairs. And again, this is your stance phase flexion resistance. So Dineon doesn't go upstairs step over step, but it does. You can ride the hydraulics down just like any other MPK. You want to work on getting that foot half on the stair going down here. I do just a little, you see, you get that foot half on the stair, it puts you in tricky situations going up. So you want to be fully on the stair going up and keep that knee locked out. And then coming down, you want to be half on the stair so that you can roll off there. And then as well with the, the lock and unlock, you've also got a cycling mode. So you see this one here, you can click that and that will go into a free swing cycling. And then you can flip over to the other side. You see the little walking icon, you push that one in and it will go back into your walking mode. That's a solid breakdown of Dineon. It is fully waterproof too, so you could take it in the ocean, you could take it in into uh, the pool, the lake, whatever you want to do, and it should be okay. Make sure you clean that the big button on there. If you want to get into water, talk to your process about it, but you can get into water with this knee, and honestly, because this knee is mechanical, I would feel much more comfortable getting in the water with this than on like my X3 or a microprocessor knee. It is important to note that you really need a strong toe to get Dineon to release. So of course it has that switching threshold which you can control and even my, myself during my demo as I was wearing it, I kind of turned my switching threshold down a little bit because I recognized it like, oh, maybe it was just it was needing too much for me and once I turned it down, it was like, wow, this is a whole new world. So you definitely want to mess with that, but it also is important to note that like using some sort of hydraulic ankle or fiberglass foot really will will not function with this knee it won't get that terminal stance at what the knee is looking for to to trigger the knee to go into its swing um, so you just want to have something that is really solid underneath it i did my whole demo wearing a taleo underneath with the gray heel wedge and i really like the taleo foot i think that if you're going to go with the autobach dineon makes a, good, a lot of sense to go with a, a taleo as well both are in that k3 k4 category because you can get a little bit of stance knee flexion, you have a manual lock, you have a free swing, and even in that free swing, you can, you can use that for jogging and things like that as well. Um, that really makes this knee versatile. Again, especially for a mechanical knee, I really think that this is kind of like a, a mechanical sea leg. It really walks very comfortably. Yeah, I do notice that it takes a little bit more energy to use than maybe a sea leg or, or a comparable MBK, MPK, but because it's mechanical and you know, you're know you doing a little bit of extra work, it really does a lot for you. And with just those couple different features, it really makes it super dynamic. And, and with those alignment settings and, and different stance settings, you really can get this knee very comfortable and use it in a lot of different situations. I really think that this knee is for anyone that wants to be functional and especially, you know, maybe those of us that have you know, insurance or, or financial issues, this is a great option instead of getting that high ticket C leg or high ticket MPK. This is a more affordable option that is still going to function a lot of those ways and give you a lot of that dynamic movement. It's just not going to cost quite as much. I really like it. I would, I would get one myself and even just have it as a backup. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a great knee. I really think that it's, it has a solid spot on the market and and a lot of people like it a lot. I think that it, it could benefit a, a big group of people. If you're curious about Dineon and want to explore more, here is the Autobach website. If you have any questions for me, here is my email. Other than that, we'll see you next time. Thank you.